video, I'm going to show you how to create a Christian Louboutin, I think I said that right, cake. Well, it's a designer shoe cake, and that's coming right up. So if you love cake decorating, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber of mine so you don't miss next week's video. So let's get into this. So we're going to get started by making part of the shoe and I ordered this ultimate sugar shoe kit online and it is fantastic. It's got everything inside it that you need to make your own sugar shoe. As you can see you've got the cutters, you've got your heel mold and you've also got a ramp to dry your shoe on. So it's perfect. Very, very expensive, I might add. I've wanted these for such a long time and I just couldn't justify the cost, but I finally took the plunge and bought it and I couldn't be happier with it, to be honest. So if you're thinking of buying one of these, it definitely is well worth the money and it saves you so much time. So you can see what I'm doing here. I've got the heel mold and I filled it neatly with my gum paste. I've inserted the skewer and now I'm going to pop this into the freezer for 20 minutes or so. I'm also going to fill this two of the brooches in this brooch mold with gum paste and pop these in the freezer as well. Anything that I'm using in this video, these molds or materials, you'll find links in the description below. So go ahead and pop those in the freezer for 20 minutes or so and while they're in the freezer we're going to get on to making our gum paste bows. So roll out a piece of gum paste as thin as you can and it helps if you've got a little embossing rolling pin like I have here. And I'm just going over the gum paste with a luster dust in a dusky pink shade. So create a straight line from the top and the bottom. This is going to be a, such an easy way to make a bow. All I do is I fold over one side, mark the centre with the ruler, then I measure the side that I've already created with my fold and make sure that the other side matches it. This is a lazy way to make a bow. <laughs> then paint some water onto the centre and fold over both sides. So you've got a nice equal bow without any fuss. Use your fingers to pinch down and create a nice ruffled effect into the middle of your bow. Create some tails on your leftover gum paste. Just make sure that they're equal in size. Cut in some inverted V's on the bottom. This just makes them look nice and pretty. And then cut them to size and pinch the top the same way we did with the centre of our bow. And just check how that's going to look. I'm happy with that. And by now our stuff should be ready to come out of the freezer. So take your brooches and your heel out of the mould and leave them to dry and once they're completely dry we're going to get on to creating the signature Christian Louboutin red sole. So a little bit of water on the back of your heel and you can see I used it just as a template to cut out that red gum paste. Place it against your ramp and make sure the top part of the, the heel is equal to the top part of your ramp. Now I couldn't get this heel to stay put so I had to make something to hold it in place so i just used some clear food wrap and some pins just to hold that in place for me and now this is where this shoe kit comes into its own so you've got your cutters for your different styles of shoes so i'm just going to cut out some red for the sole some peachy pink for the color of the shoe and then i also cut out a beige piece for the insole part of the shoe and then you're just going to place those on top with a little bit of water on top of your shoe ramp. Out of all the designer shoes, I think I would love to own a pair of Christian Louboutins the most. There's just something about those red sole shoes that just squeeze luxury. But for now, I'll just have to make do with my sugar pair. The very first pair of shoes that apparently Christian Louboutin ever designed were inspired by Princess Diana. I don't know if you knew that but there's a picture of her sitting in front of the Taj Mahal and she's looking very sad in the picture as she sometimes often did and she was looking down 
at her feet and I remember reading an article where he had seen this picture and thought to himself that she looked really sad and it would be nice to have something to make her smile when she looked at her feet. I don't know about you but if I had a pair of Christian Louboutins and I looked at my feet that would make me so happy. <laughs> so you can see I'm constructing the pieces of the shoe here and we're going to set it to the side and leave it to dry for at least a day or so. So that's why I showed you that part first, so that you know that this kind of cake doesn't come together overnight. You gotta do the shoe part first and leave it to dry for a while. Take three layers of sponge cake, and fill each layer and then carve your cake into a rectangle shape. Put a light crumb coat onto your cake with buttercream and put that into your fridge to chill for about 10 or 15 minutes. While that's chilling, I've coloured some fondant in a light beige colour. I've rolled it out thick, about half a centimetre thick, and I've placed it onto two cake boards. So put those piece, large pieces of fondant into your fridge to chill for a while, and then we're gonna go on with our final coat of buttercream. Try and get those edges as sharp and as neat as you can when you're smoothing out the rest of your second layer of buttercream. Measure your cake, take your fondant out of the fridge and trim it to size. And then place all four sides on, starting with the narrow sides first. You're just going to place it onto your cake, smooth it on. And don't worry if your sides come out over the edge a little bit too much, you can simply trim those off. See? Simples. So once you have all your four sides of your cake on and the top, we're going to put another cake board on top of the cake and we're going to flip it over. Boom! So now we've got our cake flipped upside down, we're going to cut four strips of thick fondant. And again, this fondant was chilled in the fridge just so that it'll go on nice and straight. We don't want any wonky lines in this cake. No, no, no. I don't think a Louboutin, a wonky Louboutin shoe box is going to work. So we need these lines nice and straight. And this is a great trick with the cake board. Turning the cake upside down just means your lines are nice and straight. See? How easy is that? Perfect. So leave your Louboutin box to the side for now. And to create a wooden effect cake board, we're going to roll out our peachy pink fondant onto a board. Use a wood effect rolling pin to create a wood effect. <laughs> and to create some lines I'm using a ruler and it's just going to make it into like a wooden floor type effect. I'm using the same luster dust that I used for my bow and you're just going to paint that on or dust that on around the lines. This is going to help your cake board come to life. It's going to give it a two-tone effect, like a 3D effect so that it's not so flat. For the Christian Louboutin logo, I got a local bakery to print me out the logo onto some edible printing paper and I've never used this method before and I wanted to give it a try and it worked out really, really well. So I basically just cut off around the logo, trimmed as much of it off as I could, and used some edible glue to stick it on. I had to trim some wee pieces of it off just to make sure that it fit nice and neat but all in all, I think it looks better than what it probably would have looked like had I tried to paint it on or had I tried to cut it out of fondant, which was my original plan. And just while I remember, I want to say a big, 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 big thank you to you guys for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You have no idea how much it means to me to be able to be doing something I love and something I'm passionate about at home. And now I'm actually able to invest some of the money that I've made from these videos into the channel again. So I'm looking to get a logo design and get some techie stuff so that my videos will look a bit better. So thank you. I couldn't do it without you and without your support. And so thank you so, 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 so much. So I've put some dials into the cake to support our designer shoe. And I've used some edible glue just to stick it on. I'm using some more of that uh, luster dust just to create some dimension onto your shoe. And now we're going to stick our gum paste bow on using edible glue. 
and oh how pretty does this bow look it looks amazing and it's going to look even more amazing whenever we get our edible brooch onto it so use some silver luster dust dab it on with your brush until you get the whole brooch covered I've used a tiny bit of fondant there, that'll just act as an adhesive for the brooch to stick onto and oh my goodness, it is just so perfect. So happy with how these brooches turned out. This brooch mold has been lying in my cupboard forever and I'm so glad I remembered to use it. So for the white brooch I've dusted on some pearl white luster dust and painted on some silver details using our silver dust. I added some alcohol into it to turn it into paint stuck it on with some edible glue and I placed some sugar flowers around it for some nice little details. This cake was for Brodie and Holly's head teacher's retirement. She's been at school for 34 years and there's no better way to say thank you than with a Christian Louboutin shoe cake. Okay, that's it for me for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe and most importantly, Hit the circle face thing and become a subscriber of mine. I'll see you next week.